This is finally the long-awaited and much-anticipated ribbon-cutting ceremony for our Glen Arm Repowering Project, our brand new natural gas turbine, also affectionately known as GT5. Um, I'm so pleased. Thank you so much. GT5 means a lot to the community of Pasadena. It will provide a very reliable power supply for decades to come. It's a source which is going to help us move towards the greener future as we buy more renewable energy, such as solar or wind or other renewable resources. And this unit can dance with all those resources just to make sure that your power stays very stable, your lights don't flicker, uh, so this is a big step forward. It's a very clean plant. It's very good for uh, the city. It also is innovative and sets a, a new standard for the new power plants that would be built in future. If you can make a permanent change in a person's life by launching it through a public project, that's a, that's a real win. This is a plant that if there's a problem with the grid or if we need power quickly, can literally be online within 10 minutes. And the old plant that it's replacing, the steam-fired plant, took 72 hours. So this is, a, this is a plant that can come online and be taken offline as required almost instantly. One of our goals here in Pasadena to be independent, to not have to rely 100% on the grid, so we have the ability to generate our own power as well as to sell power into the grid and provide power to others when that's needed. The GG5 is important in a number of ways. One, it's flexible. It helps us on the grid level to manage the variability of wind and solar resources. But two, it's clean. Units like this have a low carbon and low pollution footprint, and that's important to all Californians. The city feels very strongly about making sure that local residents benefit in a direct way from local projects. So on big projects like the Rose Bowl and, the, and this power plant, we had very aggressive goals for local employment. And beyond just hiring people for the duration of the job, the real success is if you can get people into a, a, a training program, a union training program, that will allow them to uh, participate um, in that kind of work on an ongoing basis. For the city, it's, it's obviously it's very important to keep this historic site and in a good state. As the power plant manager, I am in charge of maintaining the historic landmarks we have on the site, the old building, the fountain currently under repair, and the Pacific Electric building. It's just great to be done and get that ribbon cut and start operating. <laughs> Yeah!